Welcome. What we're going to look at here is a simple to build negative 0 to 13 volt power supply using no integrated circuits and uses perhaps six parts. I'm your host Lewis Laughlin. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. The circuit is presented here. The ground is going to be positive. The input up here is going to be the negative side of a power. Uh, prob it could be a transformer, diode, filter caps. It could be one of these plug-in-the-wall laptop power supplies or whatever. Note that this is negative up here for the input, positive ground. Keep that in mind. What we have is a 330 ohm resistor in series with a 10 volt zener. Note the polarity of the zener that the anode side of the zener goes back towards the negative power supply. Also note the polarity of these two bypass capacitors. This forms a largely stable minus 10 volt reference which is connected to a 1000 ohm potentiometer. To the potentiometer wiper goes to a TIP125 PNP Darlington transistor. The small base current that's drawn from the potentiometer is multiplied by a thousand or more. This is used to drive the base circuit of an MJ2955 PNP power transistor. I had to use PNPs because the polarity is completely reversed. If you adjust the potentiometer, let's argue that I set it for negative 5 volts right here on the base of the TIP125. What you will find, there's going to be a negative voltage drop across the two base emitter junctions within the Darlington, and then an additional uh, base emitter voltage drop across the MJ2955, which is rated for up to 15 amps at 60 volts. The TIP125 will run 4 or 5 amps. If all you want is, say, up to 4 amps, you can leave out the 2955 and connect um, use the TIP125 by itself. Make sure you heat sink it. Because if you try drawing 3 or 4 amps through this Darlington, it will get warm. That's how it works. Uh, if you go to, now one thing to note, now these voltage drops will be added to whatever the voltage coming off the potenti potentiometer wiper is. And this is all negative, not positive, negative. If you go to zero, you will get zero because there's no current being in, uh, injected into the base emitter circuits to drive collector emitter current. That's it. That's the whole circuit. Simple to build. Um, hope you find it useful. Somebody requested this, and this is easiest thing I could come up with. Check out my other videos and make sure you visit my uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for listening.